Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore's playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so I'm finding the party now surrounding the Cosmo Candle. So let's go join them and see what they're up to. Alright, let's have a chat with everybody. What a boring place, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Yeah, Yuffie's only got like a one-track mind, apparently. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday that when we save the planet from the Shinra, we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hate the Shinra. Do I even got to go on? Will they... Will they ever forgive me? Right now, I really don't know. But I know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living in it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Let them decide for themselves. Ah, I'm gonna do it. Again. Again, Avalanche is born. Again. Okay. Very good, Barrett. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. Interesting. So Katza's been here before. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Setra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... We're here for you, right? I know, I know, but I am the only Setra. Does that mean we can't help? Oof. <laughs> And she's just quiet. Interesting. Clown. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago... It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You... You really are you, right? Hmm. Tifa's got some stuff on her mind. But she doesn't want to talk about it. As is her fatal flaw. Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. And that's fine, but when I remember my father, my heart is full of anger. <sighs> you really can't forgive your father? Of course, he left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There's something you should see. The place may be dangerous. Will Cla yeah, Cloud, will you and one other person come with us? Uh, let's uh, Red and Tifa go. Why not? Uh, let's... Alright, so I'm going to organize uh, Materia here. So everybody, uh... Chill, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, our Materia is set up and our party's ready. Let's go see this, uh... Thing that Bugenhaga wants to show, Red 13. There he goes. Oh, 
Ho ho ho! Are we all set? Yep. Ho ho ho! Shall we go? Whoa! Magic button. Alright, come in, come in. Hey, aren't you going with us, Grandpa? What are you, crazy? It's dangerous in there, I told you that. You want an old man like me should go first? I'll be right behind you. <laughs> okay. Just look at how he's got a sense of humor. So we're descending from Cosmo Canyon down all these ladders and and uh, ropes and stuff. And as you'll note, the color changes uh, in the cave, right? So what do we remember about um, caves being weird colors, right? They're that way because of the life stream and the materia, uh, you know, in the form in caves like this. So let's enter here. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. What's -a going on here? This is a strange looking rock. Break it open. Oh, a battle. So these are actually ghosts of the Gi tribe. So you see Gi specters? Well, let's see if fire hurts them. I think fire should do decent damage. Yes, it does. Let's try stealing from them, too. Nothing to steal. Alright, well, ghosts don't have much. Death blow! Ah, Tifa missed. My strategy of having her hit everything. No can do. But, because they are ghosts, remember that restorative magic will actually hurt them. Ha ha ha! I actually this I'm a little I'm a little hazy on, on the uh, on this area. It has been a huile. You steal anything from this thing? Sneaky step. Interesting. Goodbye, sneaky step. I think this thing is considered undead as well. Oh, death sentence, that's an enemy skill I can learn. Yeah, there you go. It's not a ghost! Toast it! So death sentence is an enemy skill that you learn. It basically just puts a countdown over an enemy's head, and uh, when the countdown reaches zero, the enemy will die. Uh, I find it not too useful, because it's usually better just to... Um, Beat the crap out of them. They tend to die much faster that way. <laughs> now he's gonna give it to the Tifa, give the enemy skill to Tifa, which is perfect. Yeah, see how Tifa did uh, double damage there with the death blow? I imagine the next weapon upgrade to come after these will be. Funny looking rock. Let's break it open! What could possibly go wrong? Hello, gents. Let's have Tifa use Cure 2 on all of them. Can I use uh, White Wind on them? I can. I wonder if that'll work. I'm not sure if White Wind is actually classified as curative magic. But that sure works. Smoke bomb. Huh. Alright, nothing of use. Let's check up here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Odd shaped rock, break it open. There it is! 
Uh, strange shape wrap, break it open. I think these battles are, um, although they do, they don't seem to do much for you. You get extra experience and um, you get the items from fighting them, so might as well, right? There, now even though they're alive, a little match of magic should finish them off. So I'm curious, they all, they're all trying to attack Tifa, like I wonder what these enemies are going for. They go for the person with the lowest health, or...? What's the dilly? What's the dilly-o? Okay. So that was that. Anything else in here? No. Anything this way? No. This looks like a statue or something. A pole stuck out of it. Or maybe that's a warrior with an arrow stuck in him. Hard to see. Hopefully in the remake they'll flush this place out too. Now these things definitely aren't undead. Uh, let's get some white wind to keep us going. Let's try stealing from one and then let's beat the crap out of them. Pulse whip. So these things slow us maybe? Nothing to steal? Try casting some magic. Mm, not much of a difference. Let's try fire magic. Death blow works really well. Pow! See, Tifa, like she did miss, but a lot of times she'll hit that that kick. So she does really good with the death blow uh, material at this level. As you gain in level, a lot of uh, a lot of other characters will also hit a lot more often, so they can use it more viably as well. Ho ho ho! Everyone's here. Everyone here is a ghost of the Gi tribe killed in a certain battle. A certain battle. The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the life stream. We still have far to go. Right. Thank you, floating strange Santa scientist man. <clears throat> All right, now this place is a little tricky. <clears throat> now you see this oil here? You have to walk across it because if you run, you will um, fall into a trap. So I think these beasts are uh, actually um, like the rival tribe to uh, Red Thirteen's species, like a rival species to Red uh, Thirteen. I think that's what they're supposed to be. And the the ghosts are like the the human reverends of that tribe. Oh boy. Yeah, so you get like a little sliding animation if you run across the oil. Added effect materia. Now! Now we're cooking with gas. When we get more uh, materia with paired slots, I'll go over what added, added effect does. Because it can be quite useful. these guys. Let's see if two natural magics will get rid of them. Missiles! Pew, 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 pew. That's why this enemy skill is so good. Like, for the amount of mana you use, it does good damage, and usually two casts of it will clear entire groups of enemies like that. Which is super du 
super de duper uh, useful, at the, especially at this level. And although I have been leveling my um, my um, my magic material for people who haven't, uh, Matra Magic is good uh, all the way, you know. Triple attack. Let's toast this one, and we'll death blow this guy. Ah, oh, she missed. And we'll finish him up with some attacks. Should be enough. There we go. Okay. Continue the exploration. Go down the stairs here, and we go up here, and we get an item. Ether. Then I think we go south and get an item. Wow, the uh, the encounter rate in this area is pretty big. Pretty frequent, I should say. You know what? Let's clear this uh, clear this group with our atom bomb. Pew. Bye, guys. <laughs> Beta will serve you well for quite a while in this game. Black microphone, very good. Or megaphone, I should say. What's this way? Nothing. Okay. Let us continue. Do a round of attacks. Yep, two characters attacking can kill one of these guys, so that's pretty cool. See you later, guys. Notice the red pool of uh, what looks like blood. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. It was unfortunate that the Gi were larger than us. If they attacked through here, we wouldn't have stood a chance. Let's move on. <clears throat> I don't think it's actually blood, or I don't think it's lava either. I think it's just uh, that color for effect. Who knows? I believe these send you to different areas. This one. Now when we touch a spider, we will fight a spider, if I remember correctly. And I believe these have shoot spider webs at you to slow you down, and they also poison you. Let's get everybody cured up, and let's toast this thing. <laughs> Actually, pretty strong against the fire magic. I should, uh, if I do say so myself. Let's steal from him. See if he's got anything worth taking. And he's got something. It's probably just a spider web. Holy crap! I will blood fang you. White wind. Get red back to full. Try stealing again, and then we'll attack it. Ah, it's just an ether. Sting bomb, Jesus. Cut the sting bombs, man! What'd I do to you? Let's try ice too. See if the ice works a little better. It's 
it's about the same. Alright, so let's check back here. This will lead us to another item, I believe. So I believe if we... I think if we run to the right, we'll come up by that treasure chest, but of course we're running to another battle. <laughs> it's a bunch of them. Metro Magic! So you actually, there's another enemy skill you can learn later on called um, Death Force that will prevent uh, those single death uh, attacks like Death Sentence and uh, L5 Death or, or, or Roulette, uh, but we get that much later on in the game. Or not much later on, but we get that a little later on in the game. Okay, there we go. Fairy Ring. I don't remember what this does. Poison and Darkness. That's pretty good. So it's like two, um, two, uh, status elements protection in one, which is fantastic. Uh, let's, uh, let's go back down this way. I think, I think we have to actually go through that other spider web first. Oh, does this go anywhere? been bamboozled. These guys. Some Metro Magic. Oh, Tifa got stopped. And we could just attack them and finish them off. There she goes. You can see that the AP gains in here are pretty good too. Alright, so I think this one... Yes. Another one of those big spiders. I think we'll just go ahead and nuke this one. Oh, you know what? If I remember correctly, they're weak against water. Either that or they absorb it. Something with water with these guys. Got a lot of health. Let's see if we can steal that ether before he passes on. Nope! So now, what I will do is I will move the enemy skilled materia to cloud. I'll give steel to. Uh, who do I give it to? I give it to Red 13. And then Cloud will use up his mana <laughs> on the enemy skilled materia. Rather than uh, just use ethers on Red 13 and uh, Tifa. There's another X potion, which actually this um, this dungeon is giving you uh, some of the supplies you need to defeat uh, some of the stronger enemies in here. This is one ghost. This one's simple enough. We'll make you better. Goodbye.
Alright, so let's head back this way. We'll go up. I don't think there's anything up here. I think this is a bait and switch, yeah. We'll get to that spider web and uh, fight that last spider, then we'll get the item and move on. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, Aqualung is actually cheaper than Beta. Look at that. Goodbye! <laughs> it's a good spell to have. Especially when you're doing a Let's Play where you don't want to spend 20 minutes for a fight. Hello, Stig Mommer. Give me an ether, I need one. Oh, thank you very much. Now, would you like to go for a swim in these bubbles? Death blow, Atipa. Tipla? Death, death blow, Atipla! <laughs> Get him, Red. You know what bothers me is I don't think Red, like when you change weapons on him, I don't think there's actually any difference in his, uh, oh, it's a counter attack. Oh, and it does, uh, a proportion of your, uh, of your health. It doesn't actually do, um, a certain amount each time. It's like, it must be 70%. That's gotta be what it is. Tipla! Kick him! Oh, no, Red got him. I would love to see the way Red fights in the remake. That's gonna be really cool, I hope. You get your own, like, attack beast. I hope it's more visceral. And here he kinda, like, does a flip in front of the enemy and they get hurt. Turbo Ether! That's the best kind. Ooh. This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. Ho ho ho, we're almost there. Hmm, this is spooky. What is this? Grandpa, is he... After death, the ghost of the Gi, like stagnant air. This can't be. Uh-oh. Question number one. Can we steal from it? So this thing has these little fiery spirits haunt you. And what they do is they cast fire on themselves. But when they're haunting a character, you get hit with the fire spell, right? Nothing to steal. Well, guess what? So this, um, this dungeon has been giving us X potions, right? So let's just use it on the boss. Because it's a giant ghost. They refill all your health. Bang! Goodbye! <laughs> and that's how you fight that boss. You can also use curative magic, but X potions always hit. Sometimes cure magic can be, like, resisted, I believe. And we get a wiser staff. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived, I know. I'm so cool. Nanaki, you have grown strong, too. Oh, yeah? Now, I know it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you right over here. Let's go check it out. But first, let's get... Let's nab this gravity material. We're getting there. <laughs> this is the warrior who fought against the Gi. 
he kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father, at the warrior Sito. Alright, now you can see here that there's like an avalanche that Red 13 is trying to cl is climbing up to get a better look. So all these rocks have fallen into place, right? Who knocked the rocks down? He did. So Red 13's father, whose flaming tail has gone out, uh, what do you call? Like caved in the canyon to stop the Gi tribe from being able to get in. Uh, but he was not able to return. That that's Seto. Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. Even after they all ran even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us even now. Even now? You thought that he was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That... that is Seto? Did Mother know? Ho ho ho, she knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not to tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. I wonder what happened to Red Thirteen's mother. Cloud, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? I love this music. <laughs> Nanaki, I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. Grandpa? Listen, Nanaki. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Why is that? Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. Maybe he just means that, you know, everything comes to an end. But Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. As part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? I am too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be 130. Ho ho ho! That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them. For my sake. Grandpa. I really want them to elaborate on Bugenhagen's story in the remake if they can. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad you could come back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Ho ho ho, well I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki. I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name, so please, Grandpa. That's Seto's Seto. Seto, f father. Perhaps we could find a way to make him not stone. Perhaps a soft or two? I have like five in my inventory right now.
They said they finished fixing the buggy. Shall we get going? So this is it. Red 13. That's just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. <laughs> Truly a marvelous send-off by Barrett. Oh, goodbye, my friend. You were handy sometimes. A little bit of a better send-off by Cloud, right? Just being like, eh. Like, I'll kind of miss some kind of shrug thing. Alright. You know the drill, everybody. Actually, let's just leave. And then I'll, I'll fix the materia. Wait for me! I'm coming too! Cloud, please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Okay. Ho ho ho! Come back whenever you need my knowledge. So what's cool about this is... So we learn about Red 13's backstory. We learn that he's actually a kid. And, uh... What do you call him? We also get, like, a kind of a home base in the form of Cosmo Canyon, like a place where we could go to, um, like, be safe and to have people who are willing to help us. Uh, and that's a cool thing, right? So I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you all next time where we head, uh, I think we head north from this point on along the shore, and we'll see what's head waiting for us that way, right? Uh, so see you guys later, and uh, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.